Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to be repotting my Cebu Blue Pothos. And if you missed my last video, um, it was my top five houseplants of October. And I let you guys know that my um, Cebu Blue Pothos was not doing so great um, because I think it needs to be repotted. And a lot of you commented that you also think that it would uh, benefit from being repotted. So I'm going to show you the plant before um, we repot it. But I need to run to Lowe's um, to see if I can find a, a pot. I do have a terracotta pot that I can use, but I'm looking for a plastic one. So we're going to um, take a real quick trip to Lowe's to find a pot. And of course, we'll probably have to look at the plants um, while we are there. But um, let me show you the plant real quick and then um, we'll run to Lowe's and then we'll come back and repot the plant. Okay, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, it looks very sad because I think it might be, it needs water, so it's pretty dry. Um, but I really think it needs to be repotted and um, even some of the leaves are turning yellow so I think it will benefit from being repotted and it's just looking kind of sad so um, if you can see under here it does have some roots coming out of the bottom of the plant and it's just hanging here in my bedroom by a window and it is pretty long so I'm probably gonna cut it um, and propagate but that is what it's looking like right now so let's um, head on over to Lowe's so we can find a pot I think this is an 8 inch pot so I'm looking for maybe a 10 to 12 inch pot um, something bigger than this because it's just not working in this pot right now so all right let's head to Lowe's okay so I am now at Lowe's to pick a pot for my pothos my Subu blue pothos that we're gonna repot and I thought we would check out what they have for plants I'm just gonna do a quick little walkthrough since it's not really like a shop with me but we're just gonna check out what they have real quick rubber plants just Dracaena Diffenbachia and some ficus umbrella plant some fern and these are a lady palm 49.98 some little fiddle leaves for $12.98 and they have these little monsteras and I've been seeing that people have been finding um, variegated ones I guess at Lowe's in these small little pots these ones look to be just all the the normal I don't see any variegation on these ones those are $9.98 let's see okay and then up here it looks like they just have some hanging um Golden Pothos, $12.98. Some snake plants. Some philodendron. And some ZZ plants over here. ZZ plants are $14.98. And then they have the Venus fly traps, some air plants, and 
1998 for this Aglaonema. What is this? Is this a coffee plant? Cast. Cast. I don't know what that is. Lucky bean. Cause look how it looks. It has like a. It's coming out of a bean, and then it grows up into this plant. Huh, interesting. I've never seen that before. Okay, some more Monstera. I'm not seeing any variegation on these ones either. Some palms. Some more pothos. These look like these look like philodendron, right? Because they have the little sheath. So this has to be a philodendron. The green philodendron. That one looks sad. So this one is um, a pothos because it doesn't grow out of the sheath. But this one does. So let's see what it's labeled as. Mm, of course there's no label. Okay. Some sad ferns. Oh, and they have the purple velvet Mine died. How, oh, this is only $9.98. Look at all these blooms. Huh. Should I get it? Kind of looks sad, but I'm sure I can bring it back to life. Use this one. They're really crunchy and sad looking. These plants need a lot of sun, I've noticed. I'll have to think about it. See if I'm going to get it or not. And then they have some Calathea $12.98. Here's another Monstera. The leaves seem to just be normal. No variegation. They have a is this a pothos? I think it's a pothos. Let's see. It doesn't say, but it looks like a neon pothos. And here's some more. Mine's doing really well. These are 19.98, and they are in a um, in a terracotta pot. And then they have a um, peace lily. I couldn't think of what it was called. Peace lily. We'll see what they have around the front here, and then I gotta go find a pot. So just the air plants and the holders. They have some peperomia and succulents down there. Just do a quick little walk through here. Sixteen ninety-eight for these big plants. But check out these arrowheads. These are so cool. How much are these? $16.98. It's a pretty good price for those. Let's see. Look how big that thing is. Maybe I should get this one. Hmm. Should I get the darker color one? Should I get the red one? Wow, look at this leaf thing is huge. It's a huge leaf. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I have to get one of these. So they have the darker ones, the red ones, and then they have these light ones. Wow, oh, which one should I choose? Those are so pretty. Okay. Alright, let's go pick a pot because I really need to find a pot for that plant we're going to repot today. 
Um, and I think I need like a 10 inch pot for that. But let's go outside here and see what they have. I was thinking of getting a plastic one just because it's going to be hanging. But I do have terracotta pots that are hanging, so I don't think it will be that big of a problem. I don't really see any pots. Okay, here's their terracotta. And this one might be good for that. I think I have one of these at home, actually. You might not even have to buy this, but that looks like pretty good because it's a 10... Ten and a half. Let's just check their plastic real quick. Oh, look, they have a plastic hanging one. Should I get that one? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this would be perfect. I think I'm going to get this one. So right now I think it's like in a 8 inch. And... This is a 12 inch, but I think it'll be fine in this. I think I'm gonna get this one. And it's only 498, so that's not bad. Okay, this one it is. Let's just do a quick little run through of the cacti. Golden barrels. Some aloe, agave. Do you say apple? Yeah, apple cactus twenty two ninety eight. They have these um, euphorbias. Forty nine ninety eight. Mine died. It didn't make it through the move, sadly. If I find a smaller one, I'm going to get it. We have some little chocolate drops. I still have mine. Some hanging pots. And now they have Christmas trees. I think I want to get one of these this year. Like this mid, uh, medium sized one, it's $34.98. And the smaller ones are ten ninety eight. Oh, let's see how much this the bigger one back here is. They are thirty four ninety eight. Not bad. This one's really cool. Okay, I got the pot that I need to repot the. Pothos. So let me go see what plant I'm going to pick in there. If I'm going to pick the purple plant or the syndonium. And then I will see you guys when I get home. Okay, you guys. So I came back in to see what plant I'm going to choose. And I saw these um, Hoya Rutusa. So those are $9.98. I got mine here, they're in um, small pots, but I just wanted to show you guys the Rattusa real quick. I thought it was pretty cool to see here in a larger pot. Okay, so I'm gonna pick which plant I'm gonna take home and 
see you at home. Okay, you guys, so we're back from Lowe's and um, this is the pot that we got. Um, and it, let's see, it's from Style Selections. It's just a hanging planter. Um, so I think, I think this pot will be good for um, this plant. I think it'll be perfect. So um, we are gonna get started um, repotting. I have to mix up some soil, so I'll probably do that real quick. Um, and then we will get started. Sorry if the angle is a little bit weird, but I want you guys to see um, what I'm doing. So if my head, the top of my head's cut off, I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, also, so as you guys saw when I was at Lowe's, um, I did pick the huge Syngonium. I just, I couldn't pass up these huge leaves. Um, so I got this one and it was $16.98. These leaves are just so big. Um, so I'll probably put it back here somewhere. Um, I'm not sure where yet, but um, I'll have to figure it out. But that is the plant that I chose at Lowe's. Super cool. All right, so let me mix up the soil. Um, so this is the rest of what I have. So I'm just gonna dump it in here. Just gonna dump the rest of it in here. I really like this soil. Um, I think my plants do very well with it. Okay. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Let me grab the other one. That I Usually I like to use um, maybe like some earthworm castings or some orchid bark, um, something like that in my soil. Uh, but I don't have any and this plant really needs to be repotted. So we're just gonna stick with this. I'm sure it will do fine. This um, fertilize, I mean, this soil has a lot of nutrients in it, so I'm sure that it will do just fine. So we're gonna use that. So first I'm going to take off um, this, whoops, this uh, holder, this hook. And then we're going to check out the roots and see what they look like. Let me grab a drink of my soda real quick. So, let's just take it out of the pot real quick. So, I'm just going to put my hand on the top of it here and dump it upside down. And it does have some roots growing out of the bottom. So, I'm just going to try to not destroy those roots so much um, and just get this plant out of this pot. I can only imagine what the root system looks like. Um, it's probably so root bound and probably nothing but roots at this point. But as soon as I can get this out, we will see what it looks like. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Let me get it closer so you guys can see what it looks like. It's like nothing but roots. So yeah, this so this plant is in um, desperate need of a repot. So I think it's really gonna like the new pot that we got for it. And I'm just trying to um, loosen up these leaves, uh, these uh, roots, just a little bit here. And I'm just going to loosen up the soil. So I was, um, I was planning on doing this video outside, but it's hot out there. It's probably like, I don't know, 90 degrees. So I said, I'll just do it indoors and I'll have to clean up the mess once I'm done. Okay, let me just try to loosen up some of the soil so the new soil can get in there with the nutrients. It's like hard as a rock. It's just, it's all roots, like literally all roots. All right, so now that we have that loosened up somewhat, as much as I can with these roots, 
Um, we are going to put it in this uh, basket here. And let me find my scissors. Okay, let me cut these little um, plastic things off. And it comes with a little um, plastic hanger that you can hang it up. I might hang it with this or I just might hang it with a, um, a uh, like a macrame hanger. But I don't know if I have one, so I'll have to see if I do. If not, I'll just hang it up with this for now. Okay, let me go wash this out. I'm gonna go rinse it out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have it all rinsed out. I'm just gonna dry it real quick, um, like the outside and stuff, just so I don't get soil on the outside of it. Okay. Well, let's start putting some soil in here, I hope you can see. Okay, so it's about a little less than halfway full. And let's see how this looks in here. I think that looks perfect. It's not too, um, it's not too low down and it's not too high up. It's probably an inch um, below the top of the planter. You can see that. So here's the here's the plant, the soil and the root, and then there's the here's the pot here. So um, we're just gonna start filling this in. I don't know what happened to my um, shovel that I usually do this with, so I'm just gonna have to dump it in and do it with my hands, which is totally fine. Okay. This plant is gonna love being repotted. So with the hanging plant, I have it all um, to one side and I filled up this side with the soil. So now I'm going to grab all the trails and put it to this side. Oops. And this side's sitting up a little bit higher than the other side, so I'm just gonna kinda um, pack it down in there. There we go. Okay, that side looks good. And then just a little bit more on this side over here. pick up all these trails and make sure that there's soil all around it. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say there's like no one right way to um, repot a trailing plant. Um, it's just whatever works best for you and um, I find that this is the best way for me. I just, um, you know, hold the trails, move it all around the pot. And then finally when it's done, I'm gonna water this because I haven't watered the plant in a few, I would say at least a week. It hasn't been watered in at least a week. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and water this real quick. So let me go um, grab my watering can Okay, so um, since I haven't watered it in about a week, I'm gonna go ahead and water it now and just get that soil um, all around the roots so the roots can have some new, new nutrients 
to take in. Okay. Okay. So now, um, once I have it watered, I am going to put it on this. So I don't have a macrame hanger. Um, if I did, I would put it on the macrame hanger, but I don't. So I'm just going to have to use this plastic hook. But let's get the trails all around the um, pot first. So it's easier when we put the macrame, I mean the, um, the plastic hooks on it. Okay, so these are gonna lay all around the pot here. So there's little holes where the hooks are gonna go in and I just didn't want to put the hook in and then I'd have to take the trails and um, weave it, you know, in the, in between the hooks. So it's just easier if I do it this way. So, okay, there's a hole, here's a hole. Here's another hole over here and then another one over here. So I think that looks about good. This is a nice big pot for this plant. Okay, so. And then once I get a macrame hanger, um, I will take these hooks, this plastic hook off and um, just use the macrame hanger. But for right now, this is fine. Just so I can get it um, hung back up because this plant is super long and it really needs to be hung up. Okay. And then this one here. I know this doesn't look the best, like it's not, you know, the most, I guess, it doesn't look great for the decor, but um, I mean, it's best for the plant right now to be hanging, so I, that's what I have to do. So. All right, I'm gonna go hang this up in my room. Okay, so far this is what it looks like. So it looks much better in the bigger pot. And now it's not um, as long. It used to almost go down to the floor, um, but now it's not as long and I think it will do so much better. Um, like I said, once it gets the nutrients in it and the water in it, um, it will look much fuller because it was um, in need of watering. But um, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to thank everybody for watching. And until next time, guys, bye.